Hi there. Um, this week's craft, uh, which I think is it week number four? I think it is. I'm doing some spinning. So this is what I've got on my wheel at the moment. Um, it's a mixture of all kinds of fleece and wool. And there's another wheel of it. And what it is, uh, these, these are the last of them. And I got these off a company, oh, must be about two years ago. And it was a, a spinning advent calendar. And each day you opened up a little package and there was another little bat of fleece. And I've been spinning mine all in one go. And as you can see, I fell behind. But this week I'm pushing through and getting some more done. Um, so just as a sample of what's in there. That one is Falkland Merino and Viscose. Um, that's an alpaca pearl. <clears throat> Baby camel and silk. Um, this one is baby camel and silk as well. That's an alpaca and pearl. Polworth and tensel. That's another Polworth and tensel. <clears throat> and this one is a blue fleece Leicester and a sea cell. So, um, yeah. So this is this is what I've got left to work through. And my plan is once they're spun because i'm spinning in singles at the moment um as you can see it's a single and then i'm going to chain ply it all um so it will be a a double i'm hoping and then i should decide what i'm going to do with it so um this is my spinning wheel and I'm now going to start in a new bat, so um, just got to decide which one. I've just been doing a blue colour. I'm trying to sort of alternate colours. Um, perhaps we'll go go with this one. So, right, I'm going to unroll the bat and uh, get going. And and I will say I am by no means an expert spinner. Um, it's not my spinning isn't consistent enough yet i'm still very much a practice spinner um i don't do it often enough uh really to get a, a consistent spin as you can see from here look i've got a, a thick bit then it goes on to a, a bit thinner um, but it is still usable so anyway let me get this one next one hooked up and ready to go Right, I'm going to unroll the bat. As you can see, it's got um, stunning colours in it. I'm going to tear it down into manageable chunks mm. and just look in that just absolutely stunning the colors on it i do um have a go sometimes of um spinning some of our own yarn up and my plan always was uh to be able to spin our own alpaca yarn. Um, there we go, pull that out ready to go. Alright, let's get this all spun up. Let's move that over a bit. So my um spinning wheel is uh, an Ashford and 
it's a double treadle. Oops. Put in where I don't want it. I tried a single treadle, but I wasn't getting on with it. So I switched to a double. And I have um, taught myself just from books and YouTube. behind my back. <laughs> and I I usually like to sit in oops go in the wrong direction. I usually like to sit and spin during the winter. Um usually listening to podcasts or audio books. That way I can concentrate on what I'm spinning as well. Just turn the camera a little bit. I, I do find it very relaxing to do. I, <clears throat> I have got a drum carder and I'm going to be um, processing some alpaca yarn soon. Once I've got through this box, I'm not starting any more until I've got through this box. Um, then I'm going to pack, I want to process some alpaca yarn and I want to try some natural dyeing with it. Uh, so that would be a, a completely different video away from the, uh, the challenging. So I might end up um, weaving this yarn after I've chain plied it. Plied it. I do prefer to play a uh, chain ply. Um, than uh, the, the usual type of plying. It's something I got into a few years ago and I, I quite enjoy doing it. So with the spinning I can just sit here in the evening and do it. It's uh, not a noisy craft to do so it doesn't disturb Martin if he's watching anything on TV. Just sit in front of the fire. I would like to be able to get um, consistent enough uh, with my yarn um, to be able to run it through the knitting machine. But I think that's a, a while off yet. But I don't even know if you can see that because it's the colour it is. Hopefully by the end of this week I will have emptied this box and I can get it chain plied up and um, washed. It definitely needs washing because the other day when I was doing the blue colour I noticed my fingers afterwards were stained a dark blue so this, this does all need Um, to go through a nice gentle wash and that will set the, the twist in the yarn as well.
And yeah, that is um, my craft for this week. Uh, a, bit, a bit of spinning. So just a short video this week. But um, yeah, I'm just going to carry on working my way through this. And then at some point you will get to see it all um, finished and plied and ready to do something with. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that little notification bell. Then YouTube will let you know when I release any videos. Um, and, uh, and we have got a homespun crafters group on Facebook uh, which is all about the different crafts etc and it's for other people to post about their crafts and questions etc a nice trendy little group um, so if you want to pop along there and uh, join us you'll be most welcome so thank you very much for watching